Where is this man? He said that dinner will be ready. No, John Charles, I'm cooking something special for you today. You are important. Mm. What is he cooking? Maybe a salad? <gasps> something tasty and healthy. Oh, yes. And here he comes. Special dinner for a special friend. Voila! Uh, what is this? It's your dinner. Uh, thanks, but this is not healthy. Hey, what do you mean? It's delicious. I see cookies, I see a cake, and what is this blue thing? Where is the water? Uh, I don't know. Ah, come on, follow me. Oh, oh my god, no! Look at this, this is terrible! Why, what is the problem? Look! We have mayo, cookies, cake, ketchup! And what is that thing? This? These are empanadas. Ugh! This is too much junk food. We need more healthy food. And where is the water? Well, we don't have water, but we've got this. No! No, 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 we need water. Not that blue thing, but what are you talking about, John Charles? Water isn't tasty. This is very tasty. It's delicious. No! No! Come with me right now! I will tell you a riddle. A riddle? Yes. I am going to read you something and you have to guess what is the word. Alright. This riddle is about one of the most important things we need. All right, shoot. All right. I go solid in freezers. In rivers I can flow. My chemical formula is known as H2O. H2O. In freezers and rivers. Mm. This is kind of tricky, my friend. Can you help this man? Can you guess the answer of the riddle? To answer the riddle, go to the first activity on the worksheet. I know that you can do it. Young Charles, this is the answer of the riddle. Ah. I give up, John Charles. Can you tell me now what was the important thing that you have to tell me? Water. Water? Yes. Just water? It was just water. Uh, well, now tell me, why is it so important? Do you see this bottle? Yes. Well, this is you. Hey, I am not a bottle. Ah, uh, this is the water inside of your body. Water is essential for our body functions. Water is the main component in our body. Actually, is the 70%. Ah, so in other words, water is just important because it completes our body. No! Water helps us to regulate our temperature. It helps you to break down your food. It also transports nutrients, oxygen, and waste materials. We're constantly wasting water, so we need to replace it. Mm, I understand. But why not just drinking fizzy drinks or juices? The problem is that they contain other elements like acelsofen potassium or phosphoric acid. 
Exactly. In other words, you're consuming elements that are not natural. Mmm. I always drink fizzy drinks after I do exercises. Well, I know that you kids are more intelligent and you know better the importance of the water. Yes, that's true. You guys are really intelligent. I bet that you can tell me the importance of water in the second activity of the worship. Let's go. <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> that is why you're fat, my friend. You consume too much sugar and too much junk food. <laughs> John Charles, I used to be skinny, you know. I ate healthy. Now, look at me. <laughs> First, you need to start making healthy choices. Yes, water is important, but it's not everything. Remember that the one food with all the nutrients in the world doesn't exist. So, we must eat different types of food, so we get different types of nutrients. This is the group of food that you don't have to eat that much. For example, sugars and fats and oils, like fizzy drinks, ketchup, oil, sugar, <laughs> and cookies. <sighs> This group is called proteins, and you have to eat them in the correct amount. You can find beans, butter, milk, and eggs. Whoa. This group of food is called minerals and vitamins, and we can find fruits and vegetables. You need to eat lots of them and try to combine as many as you can during the day. Wow! And finally, we have the carbohydrates. You need to eat lots of them during the day, but remember, you have to combine them with fruits, vegetables and proteins. We have like potatoes, bread, pastas and oatmeal. Wow! You also should be careful with food you eat during the day. What do you mean? You're always eating too much food until you cannot eat anymore. Then you throw it in the trash. You should be conscious about the amount of food you're wasting. You're right, John Charles. And you know what? Remember this day. From today on, I'm going to start eating less junk food. I'm going to have a more balanced diet. I'm going to start drinking more water. I'm going to start doing exercise. And to start activity 3.2 in the activity book. What? Go! Pages right. 18 and 19. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> that homework was a really big exercise. Uh, thank you very much. Mr. John Charles, I thought I was getting fat because of the quarantine and now that I realize I was fat because my healthy choices, well, were not very healthy. I encourage you two boys to start making healthy choices. Your life is going to change. Now, what do you think if we go to the grab pub and let's finish this class, John Charles? Alright, see you there boys. Hola chicos y bienvenidos a otro final de otro video de Science. Hoy hablamos sobre la importancia del agua y los distintos tipos de comida que tenemos que consumir en distintas cantidades. Respecto al agua, la importancia del agua no solamente hacer que nos sintamos más llenos o calmar la sed. El agua tiene muchas funciones. Nos ayuda a regular el agua, ayuda al sistema nervioso y también al sistema digestivo. Asimismo nos ayuda a que la sangre no esté tan espesa 
y al transporte de distintos elementos importantes como son el oxígeno, los nutrientes y no se olviden de desechar los materiales que ya no, nuestro cuerpo no necesita así que además de calmar la sed, la importancia del agua es mucha nuestro cuerpo está compuesto casi por un 70% de agua y si baja de ese porcentaje estamos corriendo peligro por otro lado si sobrepasa ese porcentaje también corremos peligro así que el equilibrio del agua siempre tiene que estar a ese nivel entre el 70% pero no es necesario que siempre estemos tomando agua también consumimos agua a través de los alimentos frutas o verduras también son una buena fuente de agua y de muchos nutrientes, vitaminas y minerales también y esto nos lleva al segundo punto que hablamos después que son nuestras decisiones healthy choices la manera en que nosotros comemos va a ser la manera en que nos vamos a sentir una dieta balanceada, variada, nos va a dar una gran cantidad de nutrientes recuerden que no hay un alimento, una comida que contenga todo lo que necesitamos asimismo hay que tener mucho ojo con las cantidades de comida que comemos es mejor comer poco y no desperdiciarlo mejor seamos conscientes comamos poquito de manera regulada pero variada bien chicos, con esto terminamos la unidad solamente esto va a entrar en la prueba los tipos de comida healthy choices y también la importancia del agua y recuerden que si tienen dudas siempre estoy disponible para el contacto y subsanar todas sus interrogantes así que no tengan miedo y escriban chicos nos vemos hasta la próxima que estén muy bien chao chao